Let us pray. Gracious God, by your Holy Spirit, open our minds that as the scriptures are read and your word is proclaimed, we may be led into your truth and taught your will. For the sake of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. So our first scripture reading is from the book of 1 Peter, chapter 2, verses 19 to 25. For it is to your credit, if being aware of God, you endure pain while suffering unjustly. If you endure when you are beaten for doing wrong, where is the credit in that? But if you endure when you do right and suffer for it, you have God's approval. For to this you have been called, because Christ also suffered for you, leaving you an example, so that you should follow in his steps. He committed no sin, and no deceit was found in his mouth. When he was abused, he did not return abuse. When he suffered, he did not threaten. But he entrusted himself to the one who judges justly. He himself bore our sins in his body on the cross, so that free from sins, we might live for righteousness. By his wounds you have been healed. For you were going astray like sheep, but now you have returned to the shepherd and guardian of your souls. Every year on the fourth Sunday of Easter, we come to these texts that invoke the image of God as our shepherd. The 23rd Psalm, um, the reading from 1 Peter this morning, and this 10th chapter of John, in which Jesus talks about himself and the role that he plays in the life of the world and the life of his disciples. From chapter 10 of John, verses 1 through 10, listen for God's word to you this morning. Very truly, I tell you, anyone who does not enter the sheepfold by the gate, but climbs in by another way, is a thief and bandit. The one who enters by the gate is the shepherd of the sheep. The gatekeeper opens the gate for him, and the sheep hear his voice. He calls his own sheep by name and leads them out. When he has brought out all his own, he goes ahead of them, and the sheep follow him because they know his voice. They will not follow a stranger, but they will run from him because they do not know the voice of strangers. Jesus used this figure of speech with them, but they did not understand what he was saying to them. So again, Jesus said to them, Very truly, I tell you, I am the gate for the sheep. All who come before me are thieves and bandits, but the sheep did not listen to them. I am the gate. Whoever enters by me will be saved and will come in and go out and find pasture. The thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I came that they may have life and have it abundantly. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
Alleluia. Amen. Would you stand as together we say what we believe using the words of affirmation from Colossians 1 printed in your worship bulletin. Jesus Christ is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creation. In him all things in heaven and on earth were created, things visible and invisible. All things have been created through him and for him. He himself is before all things, and in him all things hold together. He is head of the body, the church. He is the beginning, the firstborn of the dead, so that he might come to have first place in everything. For in him all the fullness of God was pleased to dwell, and through him God was pleased to reconcile all things, whether on earth or in heaven, by making peace through the blood of his cross. Amen. <laughs> 